Molly Napier. I'm Mary Louise's oldest son. And this... I'm Gillian Frame, and I am Finlay's wife. <laughs> and we are the parents of Lucy Grace Napier, who is the eldest of the of Mary Louise's grandchildren. And um, she has a lovely lullaby. Is that the first lullaby? I don't know if it's the first one in the CD, but I think it's maybe the first one that got written. Well, certainly the first for any of our own grandchildren. Yeah. But um, so yeah, Lucy's lullaby, lullaby for Lucy Grace. Um, yeah, it it very quickly became an extremely important part of Lucy's bedtime routine. Um, and yeah, it it was it was the last thing that she she had to have that um, before she went to sleep at night. So the usual routine stories, etc., and then. Um, this song became the song. Lucy's a bit of a creature of habit, so um, yeah, this this was the, the one. So that was fine if Finlay and I were at home because we both obviously knew the song really well by then. Um, but a couple of times we had other people looking after her. Um, so sometimes her, her other granny, my mum, Granny Island, would be babysitting and um, she could never quite remember it or she thought she could remember it and she would start singing it and Lucy would quickly stop her and say, no, 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 that's not right. That's not right, Granny, that's not right. Um, and so my mum, she, uh, she she decided that she would get me to sing it. She would record it on her phone so that they could just sing along to the recording and that was fine. Lucy was happy with that. And then... There was also the one with Kirsty, our friend. Oh yeah, Kirstie. our friend Kirsty babys- did babysitting one night, and I we didn't know that this happened. But like when we got back to the flat, Kirsty was totally horrified because she, she didn't she didn't know the song, and Lucy had been demanding the song. She called her her well, her husband now, but her boyfriend at the time, Louis, and I was trying to get him to sight sing because the music's on a on a poster on the wall. <laughs> Yeah, yep. trying to get Louis just like on FaceTime to sight sing <laughs> the song. Yeah, oh man, she'd put her to bed, and Lucy said, "Oh, that's fine now, and I just need, I just need my my lullaby." And Kirsty thought, "Oh, fine, that's grand. I could sing her Twinkle Twinkle Little Star." Or, and uh, Lucy said, "No, no, no, it's no my lullaby. It's got to be my lullaby." <laughs> Hush a bye. Yeah. Kirsty said. Oh, I don't think I know this one. I don't know about this one. And uh, Lucy points to the, the lovely picture that your mum, there's a collage with the, the, but the notation is there. Oh, it's fine. It's up there. It's fine. You can just read it. And Kirsty said, oh, I don't read music. What am I going to do? And thinking that this was, a, this was a disaster. Our first time babysitting Lucy was a disaster. So, yep, she'd phoned Louie. Oh, yeah. I think we muddled funny. through, but... Oh, it was so funny. So I yeah. thought she totally like blown it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Really, it doesn't really matter. But no, so no. For a long time, it was a uh, it was absolutely huge part of Lucy's bedtime, and I think she's really proud. She's really loved the fact that she had her own lullaby written for her by her nana. Hush, by our Lucy Grace. Here's a 